everyone and assalamu alaikum i hope that you all are well and healthy so welcome to a brand new vlog and before we start today's vlog please may i request all you guys out there that please subscribe to my channel if you like my recipes then definitely give me a thumbs up if you guys are new to the channel then welcome and please subscribe to my channel and if you guys haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel as you can hear my budgies are also saying please subscribe to the channel yes that's what they're saying so before so today's recipe um, is actually comfort food and what's comfort food chicken pot pie so today I'm going to share with you my recipe of chicken pot pie so let's go to my kitchen and let's start cooking so the ingredients that we need for our chicken pot pie are let's start off with the spices we need salt we need red chili flakes so I have salt one tablespoon I have red chili flakes one teaspoon i have uh, paprika powder one teaspoon and i have freshly grounded black pepper powder one teaspoon i have plain flour um, and i'm going to actually show you um during the recipe how much we really need we actually need to make a roux roux is actually butter and melted butter with plain flour so i'll actually show you that during the recipe i have olive oil again i will show you during the recipe how much we need i have buttermilk down here I have uh, grated garlic down here, two tablespoons. Uh, we have kale down here, so I have fresh kale. We're gonna add that, and I've also got one whole leek finely sliced. Now you can add any vegetable of your choice to your chicken pot pie. I'm actually choosing kale and leek. I have cream cheese down here, ricotta cream cheese, and I have melted butter down here as well don't worry i will show you um uh, during the recipe how much we need basically ricotta cheese butter plain flour and buttermilk is only needed to make the roux i have also uh chicken stock down here uh one cup and we have short crust pastry um for um the chicken pot pie i've actually got a uh, store bought because of the pandemic, I cannot get hold of any flour, self-raising flour, plain flour, or strung bread flour, um, or otherwise I would have actually made my uh, pastry at home. It's very easy to make. Um, hopefully, as soon as I get hold of uh, any flour, I will actually make a segment where I will actually teach you how to make chocolate crust pastry, puff pastry at home. And then down here, I have a half a kilogram of uh, boneless chicken, and I've actually cut in cubes. So let's get started. So down here I have a pan and I have my flame on. And first of all, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add in olive oil. So now I'm gonna tell you how much we need to add in. Four tablespoons of olive oil I'm gonna add in. And in that, I'm gonna add in one whole leek. and one tablespoon of shredded garlic. I'm gonna saute the leek and also I need some color on my leek. So once my leek is sauteed and it's actually golden caramelized colored, I will add in the kale. So now as you can see, my leek has caramelized and it's also sauteed. So at this stage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the kale. I'm not quite sure that if you can actually get kale in some countries. So if you can't find kale, it doesn't really matter. You can actually add in uh, spinach. Um, kale, if I need to explain kale in Asian word, it's something nearer to Sersokasa. So, like I said, if you can't find kale in Pakistan or any Asian country, then use the sofa sauce. So now, this is done. Wasn't that quick. So I'm going to take it out in a plate, just for the time being. And in the same frying pan that I actually sorted the vegetables, I'm going to add four tablespoons of olive oil again and now I'm going to add in the chicken To 
actually hurry up the process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this chicken on the back um, hob. And down here, I'm actually going to prepare the roux. So at the moment, on a low heat, what I'm going to do, I've got a pan down here, and in the pan, I'm going to add some butter. Two teaspoons of butter. The butter has to be melted thoroughly. When it's fully melted, then we're going to add in flour. Plain flour is actually meda in Urdu. So now the butter is fully melted, so what I'm going to do is that quickly I'm going to actually add in 3 teaspoons of maida and we have to quickly mix it and basically this is what it should be okay and once we've done that and it's mixed in do not let go of it because then it, lumps can actually create and then you have to discard it and make it all over again so at this point I'm going to add in a pinch of black pepper and a pinch of salt to season our roux and once I've done that I'm going to add in the buttermilk which is about three tablespoons of buttermilk and then straight away in goes three tablespoons of ricotta cheese now buttermilk and ricotta cheese are made at home again because of the pandemic I cannot get a hold of any so it was just it's just so simple to make I will actually make a segment in which I will also teach you how to make cream cheese um, ricotta cheese buttermilk all this at home constantly mix it we don't want any lumps to be made and now I'm going to add in chicken stock gradually because I want a thick consistency of this roux This is homemade chicken stock, which I always make and I always save it in the fridge. I used half a cup of chicken stock and my consist this is a thick consistency that I want and the roux is perfectly ready. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then there's one ingredient you can add in, which I've totally forgot to mention, is cheese, which I'm gonna do. Just to make it a bit more richer, a bit more creamier, I'm actually gonna add in cheese in this room. So now, as you can see, there is some water in the chicken. So now I'm gonna dry up all the water that actually came from the chicken itself. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna add in the paprika powder, red chili flakes, the black pepper all this is one teaspoon except the black pepper we added uh, some of that in our room and now I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of salt again always add salt to your taste and to your requirement
Now, because we've only got about five minutes left for this to be actually made, uh, sorry, to be fully prepared, what I'm going to do, I'm going to now turn the oven on, on a 200 degrees Celsius, and preheat our oven. So now, my chicken is nearly done. At this point, I'm going to add the vegetables back in. Mix it all well. I'm using mozzarella cheese. You can use cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you want to. So now this is done. So now I'm going to turn my gas heat to the lowest. And at this stage, I'm going to add in the roux. well so the creamy taste and te texture that comes to the chicken pot pie is because of the roux at this point I'm going to turn the gas fully off that's it Mix it well. I didn't add cheese to the roux because then the roux would have become, what would I say, too much um, difficult for me to actually mix it around. So I'm going to add it directly into the pan. So now the gas is really off. I'm going to put this on the side and I'm actually going to roll out my pastry and then I'm just going to put in the dish and put in the oven. So down here I have a dish, an oven dish, which I'm going to add about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil to grease my dish. With a pastry brush I am going to Spread it evenly and I'm going to add in all the mixture in here. Evenly distribute it and now I'm going to roll out my pastry. I've got some uh, pastry cutters. I have got this um, flower decoration one, which I actually bought from Amazon. Um, so I'm just going to cut some flowers out. First of all, I'm gonna, I've got egg wash here. So one egg, which I've actually put some water in and beat it. And then down here, I'm gonna add in my flowers.
flour left. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a border. So let's roll it out. So this is it. I'm going to give it another egg wash, especially the sides that I've done. If we generously egg wash our pastry, it's going to turn more golden brown. So this is the look of my puff pastry before it goes in the oven. And I'm going to bring the oven on 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until golden brown. So guys, this is the final look of my chicken pot pie. It took 10 minutes in the oven and it's fully ready for us to enjoy. Now, I hope that you guys try it and you guys enjoy it. I hope you liked today's recipe. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel until the next recipe take care bye